see here. Welcome, welcome everyone. Uh, pop in. Let's wait for some people to pop in here. Ooh, with some filters. That was weird. Okay. Let me share this out real quick here. Here's our room. Hey, Captain Rex, how's it going? Welcome, welcome everyone. Here we are in the space. This is an old like Victorian era hotel here. It's pretty nice. Way up in the mountains as you can see back there. Hey Falcon Kid, how's it going? How is everyone doing today? It's a little bit of the mountains there. Hey, King Kittens, how are you doing? Good to see you. Doing a, a random Q&A here. So what would you guys like to know? Yes, you did, I remember. Good to see you. So today's stream is going to be a little bit different, a little bit shorter. Um, escape the onslaught of my family. <laughs> Yeah, so today's stream is going to be a little bit shorter, a little bit different than normal. We're not going to be playing any games today, just doing a random uh, Q&A here in the hotel. Um, I don't even have like a, a TV in here. Do I have any other jobs? I do. So I do freelance uh, video, uh, videography, photography, podcasts, and graphic design uh, through a company that I started called uh, Tidy Sheep Productions, uh, tidysheep.com. So that's, that's what brings in... Um, the money outside of like podcasting uh, for Star Wars games. Yes, one more question. Ask all the questions. <laughs> I have one pet. It's a very floofy uh, cat named Turmeric. He's two years old. He's a orange floofy boy. We think he's a Norwegian forest cat. But I picked him up at our local Humane Society, and he is so adorable. A flame point size. Hey, Shuriken, how's it going? Yeah, he is a very sweet but spicy boy. <laughs> hey, Spikel, how's it going? Favorite Star Wars character. I'm doing fantastic. Uh, favorite Star Wars character is probably uh, a tie between Nye and Num and uh, Luke. I love Nye and Num. He's such a good character. He was one of my favorites before he was added to uh, Battlefront 2015. And then when he was, I was like, yes! <laughs> Darth Treya. I'm not familiar with Darth Treya. Hey, Dinko, how's it going? Favorite type of pizza? Oh, hard-hitting questions there. Uh, favorite type of pizza is definitely, um, I like a barbecue chicken pizza. Barbecue chicken is so good. Like, best, best pizza in my opinion. Changed my mind. <laughs> Ham and pineapple. Oh, Yepper's over here with the controversial opinion. <laughs> favorite type of Mr. Dingo. Hmm. Probably the third Mr. Dinko. Mr. Dinko the third. Un underrated Mr. Dinko out of all of them. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Basically, Twilight female mall. Hey, Star Wars Nate. Good to see you. Good to see you. Favorite mode in Star Wars Battlefront. Which one? So my favorite mode in Battlefront 27 or 2015 is probably cargo yeah cargo without hands down best best um 
my favorite game mode personally. And then in Battlefront 2, it's a tie between Strike and probably Heroes versus Villains, or maybe Co-op. So it's a three-way three -way tie. Uh, strike, Heroes versus Villains, and Co-op. Those three modes are probably the ones that I rotate through uh, the most. I just did an episode of the podcast with Sammy Boy that's already out. And um, so I've been playing a lot of Heroes vs. Villains recently. Favorite Battlefront map in any game? Definitely, um, probably Source Sub uh, Refinery. I love the, I love the verticality in that one. I do. I love Iwakan. I like it more with people. So like if we could fill up a lobby, that's probably my favorite way to play it. Um, but Hero Hunt's, Hero Hunt's fun. Uh, if you guys want to, uh, want me to play Hero Hunt, or, um, Ewok Hunt on stream, I will definitely do so, because it's so much fun. Such a, uh, such, uh, so it's such a good, good, uh, good way to utilize the characters. So you have the the terrifying, terrifying gameplay of like running through the stormtroopers. Then you have all of the powers that you walk, Jedi or Sith. Um, prob I'm a Jedi boy. Go to a nostalgia movie. Hmm. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. New Hope. And Goonies. Those are my three ones. New Hope, Lord of the Rings, any of them, and then uh, Goonies. Goonies is the best. Yeah, we do need... I would definitely love more hunt modes. I would love a... Um, uh, a Gungan hunt would be great. <laughs> a Gungan hunt would be fantastic. As well as... Um, Sand, oh, what is it? The uh, it's the Sand People favorite Jedi, probably Luke. I love I love the arc for for Luke. Um, I have I have some issues with the Mandalorian, but and just not that he is there, but if the way that they introduced him in that, I think there are some issues there. What if there was a Jawa hunt and there was a few droids escaping? Dude, droids versus Jawas, let's go. <laughs> I would love that. I would love that so much. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, hunt modes. I think the hunt modes in the original Battlefronts were so freaking fun, and I love that they brought them back for Battlefront 2. I just wish they will, con hopefully if a Battlefront 3 comes out, that they will continue to push forward that genre. I would love to just see a hunt playlist where you go through all the different types of hunts. Um, favorite non-Star Wars TV show? Doctor Who. Doctor Who or... Um, Andy Griffith show. Those are probably my two faves. You could hear R2-D2's petrified yells, yes. <laughs> you, you have to, as the droids, you have to hide behind uh, rocks to hide from the Jawas and the different people. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Jawa hunt. Yes, Jawa hunt, Battlefront. Three, let's go. Do you think we will get a Battlefront three? Yes, Andy Griffith show. It's so good. I'm gonna be watching it for the probably sixth time. Question for all of you: Do you think that we will get a Battlefront three? And if so, when do you think that we'll get it? No, why, why don't you think we will get one? I'm 
next year. I don't think we'll get to it next year, but I do think that we will get a Battlefront 3. Um, I'm hoping 2023. Um, Dinko, though, he's, he's pulling out the big guns. He's pulling out the big guns and making some bold claims here. Feel like they are done with the fan. I don't think they are. I don't think they are done with the franchise. With how much they've done uh, for Battlefront 2 and how much that they changed the game completely and how much people love it, I think the brand name for Battlefront, Battlefront as a franchise is just too strong for them not to do anything. Um, Yemper says, I think we will get a Battlefront 3, but it's definitely a few years, a few years away, 2023 at the earliest. <laughs> I like your optimism, Dinko. <laughs> yeah, like, the the strength of the brand is way too strong, and they made so, they made so much money from that. I don't think they're going to step away from it that easily. What, do you, what are all of your thoughts on Star Wars Hunters? I personally am not a huge mobile player, but if you are, what are your thoughts on it? Being bound to the force gives me extra insight. <laughs> it's true. Dinko is stronger in the force than any of us. If you can make a mode, what mode would you make? A hey, Grievous, hello there. You are a bold one. If I could make any mode, what would it be? Probably, I'd bring back cargo. I'd bring back cargo, or I would make a, um, I've said it many times, I'll probably say it again, I said it in the most recent episode of the podcast, but I would make a reinforcement-only blast game. So you can play as many of the reinforcements as you want, and you just go ham. You have a set amount of different kills that you have to get. Another one that I'd really like would be Overwatch style, but with Star Wars heroes, I think that'd be super fun. Excited for Hunters, but I'm not sure how long it will keep. I will keep playing it because I usually don't play mobile games for long. Yeah, so I've I've run into the same thing with mobile games. Um, I have been making an effort to play more. I downloaded all of the Star Wars ones that were there, and then. Um, I, I got Super Mario Run not too long ago when it came out, and uh, I popped that back open and was like, hey, what is it like to actually dedicate some time to this? And I may make a video in the future on uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and my, my experiences with it, because I've been dedicating some time to it, and I'm actually going to put some more of an effort. Um, yeah, and it's not really pay to win, so I've used that phrase a lot when I'm describing... Um, the mobile games but it's a lot of it's pay to play it's not even win it's you have to pay if you want to continue playing or you wait and i don't i don't think that's it doesn't suit how i play games um but obviously not everyone is uh <laughs> plays games like i do I, it is it is some pretty sick wallpaper here It's a really nice hotel. Um, later today, we'll be trying to hop into the hot springs and enjoying some time there. Stay, and if you are not in the Discord, definitely join the Discord because I will be sharing some videos and some photos of our trip here. And um, we, have a, we have a really fun time in our Discord. So if you're not part of the Discord, definitely hop in. We discuss Star Wars, plants, pizza, all the, all the things. Um, super fun. Thanks, thanks Dico. There you are, doing, doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Discord is great. What, what are some of the things that you'd like to see more of in the Discord? Um, a lot, so this trip is a lot of, um, it's a reset. So I, I brought some notebooks and I'm gonna be planning a lot. I've been working a lot on the strategy for Uplink and want to, yes, join the Discord. 
uh, a lot of a lot of this trip is just resetting and refocusing on what I want to do, and uh, a, a big focus of that is obviously the YouTube channel, obviously Discord, and bringing those things together, weaving them together. Um, gameplay, yes, we will do more gameplay. I bought a bunch of the old Star Wars games on Steam when they were on sale, so stay tuned. We're going to be playing through the Force Unleashed first, and doing my my ultimate goal is to have week have daily videos, to have at least five videos a week. Um, that's my goal. I don't know. I don't know how feasible that is, but I'm going to try to do that and dedicate the time and the effort to do so. And um, it's gonna be fun. If you guys have suggestions on the Discord, let Uplink and I know exactly. Yes. <laughs> Yes, the Discord. Discord is a super fun place. Uh, if you have some good recipes, share them because I will definitely use them. <laughs> yeah, I'm. A lot of this trip is uh, resetting and refocusing and restructuring um, and getting back to getting back to what makes the show so good. Um, and what I really enjoy doing is interviewing really cool people and talking about. Um, super cool topics and getting into like uh last this this most recent episode with sammy on how to play heroes that's going to be a continuing series on uh on uplink we're going to go through and have some people on the podcast and talk about how to play specific stuff in battlefront 2 and break those out into separate videos too uh to condense it um just because i there's a lot of new people in the community there's a lot of new players and um trying to get some at least base level and then go a little bit deeper on some of the strategies. Uh, I really enjoyed having Sammy on the podcast uh, again. And uh, afterwards we were like, we checked the time and we thought we'd been recording for like 15 minutes. Turns out it was like 45 minutes. And we're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how did that happen? <laughs> so that, that's... That's one of the things I'm working on. I, I literally have a notebook dedicated to it. See you, Grievous. Thanks for hopping in. Glad that you were able to make it this Saturday. See ya. See ya, Jet. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Have a good time. And uh, stay safe out there. Also, I have a question. question for you in regards to the show. What would you think about a live version of the podcast? So we record live, uh, whether that's on YouTube, whether that's on Twitch, doesn't really matter the platform at this time, but what would you think of a live version of the podcast? Hey, Ethan, how's it going, my man? Long time no see. Currently up in the mountains, enjoying a nice mountain retreat. How have you been, Ethan? You've been in, have you been good? Enjoying life, not getting too busy. I'd like to put like a legit show on, um, put some real effort into creating the show because we could do, hey, Daniel, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hope you're not doing too, too crazy over there. Definitely too busy. Did you go to the concert that you got tickets for? I'm doing good. Up in the mountains, taking a break. I haven't, I haven't had like a legit break or like a reset since uh, I went full time. So it's, it's good. Okay, not until June. Okay. I'm so up in up in Denver. There's a place for concerts called uh, the Red Rocks. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous rock formation. Um, redstone rocks. Finish work at 7 a.m. Oof. That's rough, Daniel. That's rough. But I, I see you're making some good stuff over there, food-wise. Been, been drooling over your posts on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> um, but there's a place in Denver. Super, super cool venue for concerts, and I've been eyeing them so, so hardcore. I'm, I haven't pulled the trigger yet because I'm waiting for some projects to finish up, make sure I can uh, get those funds and make sure my savings are good. And then there's the whole state of COVID and all of that too. So 
who knows, I could buy them now and then by the time it happens, it's gonna be shut down again. Hopefully not, but it could be with how volatile everything is and everything's changing within a moment's notice. It's it's not, it's, it's hard to plan hardcore super far in advance. But I'm, I'm excited for when concerts actually happen again. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully soon we'll get back to normal. Hey, Historic Loan, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for hopping in. I'm doing fantastic. Gorgeous day in the mountains in an old Victorian, old Victorian hotel. Will you come back to the UK? 100%. Dude, a year ago was when we went and I have not stopped wanting to go back. <laughs> gonna hit up uh, London, gonna go to Bristol, uh, meet up with, with Ethan. And uh, he's gonna show us, show us the uh, the good places to go. Find a good burger, cause I, I struggled, I struggled finding a good burger in London. How's it being at a hotel during these times? I mean, it's it's good. Um, social distancing still happening. Everything's nice and clean. Um, it's good. It's it's pretty slow. Uh, I think everyone's still getting used to the way things are, um, but I've only seen like a couple people without masks on the t on the city, and so that's pretty good. It's pretty good with the amount of people that we've seen. Um, but it was the best burgers are the ones only locals know about. Yeah, it's true. So I need you to give me the tour. We need to go on a, a pub crawl. Maybe Antarctica. We'll see. And <laughs> uplink, uplink world tour. Oh man, it'd be awesome to get to that point. But yeah, I will definitely be going, and my girlfriend is not going to let me go alone because <laughs> she wants to go super, super badly as well. So we're probably gonna make a trip up there. She she's yelling from the background that you, I can't go without her. <laughs> hey, Spiderback, good to see you. Good to see you. How is everyone doing today? But yeah, uh, oh my gosh, all of my Facebook memories are posts from our UK trip. Oh, I miss it so bad. I could I could live in Scotland, like Inverness, Scotland, so good. That's probably that was probably my favorite place in the, on the whole tour. Uh, I want to go to Bristol. Uh, we got to hit up London again. Meet up with uh, Daniel once more. Uh, been been training in the Indian food arts, <laughs> and then I want to dedicate some time to Scotland and um, go on like a legit, legit Scotch tour. Yes, curry all the way. The, so I'm locally a place, do I fish? Um, not really, uh, used to growing up, but haven't really dedicated the time and I struggle with the patience to fish. <laughs> Um, so there's a, there's a local place in our town called uh, Nirvana that does really, really good butter chicken, really good, like world-class Indian food. And super pumped because I was like, man, butter chicken, let's go to the UK where it was like originated. It was, it was very disappointing. I was very disappointed in the butter chicken there. It was dessert-like. It was too sweet for me and it, it wasn't my jam. It was not my jam. <laughs> swimming. Swimming is the best. Um, later today, we'll be going to the hot springs to do just that. Chill in the hot springs, go swimming. Honest Burger and Hub Box. Gonna have to check that out when we go. I, I really, by the time that we were towards the end of our trip, we were mostly, um, we would get, get food and, um, get food from the local market, the Tesco's we would go to and get some ingredients and cook some food there. And then we would go to the pubs. That, that was our, our ritual towards the end of it. Cause we were super pumped for the food and, uh, we didn't go to any of the touristy places. Like that was, that was the main goal. It was like, don't go to any of the tourist places. We went, basically went to the deepest part of uh, the towns and went to the local, local places. Um, a lot of the food's the same, which 
I mean, you can copy the paste them and use, but my gosh, the brews were so good. I love the pubs. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as things start getting normal, I want to travel a lot more. And like uh, part of part of my day job, which is a freelance uh, production company marketing stuff, um, I want to get to that to the point set up to where I can be more uh, mobile than where I am. Uh, Canyon City and Florence will be my home, my 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 hub and doing a bunch of stuff there and helping with the development of the community. But I also want to have some places where I can have a little more flexibility of where I go. So a little more digital nomad life. Um, do you like camping? Yes, I love camping. Also, place that we're gonna go to, gotta hit up Poland. Poland and Norway are on my list as well. Thank you very much, Dinko. They're little flamingos. So yeah, Poland for the Spiegel pizza. Obviously, that's like literally the only reason. <laughs> all, all, all Poland had to do was tell me Spiegel was there and I was like, okay, time to go. <laughs> and then Dinko uh, and a friend of the podcast as well, uh, Torbis, went to go to Norway, have some fun, go up into the hot springs there. Uh, yes, I want to go to Germany. I would love to go to Germany. Um, I had a couple friends up there not too long ago. Uh, this was like towards the beginning of the podcast, but I'll have to reach out to them, obviously, and see if uh, Rogue Wolf is able to uh, give us give us a little tour, pick up some. I know he has a lot of uh, connections for headphones and Germany is very well known for very well known for its audio stuff. So I'm going to have to pick up some headphones when I go there. <laughs> um, Sennheiser, one of the best audio brands. So I will, def that's on my list. Leipzig is of my l top list for Germany. Lovely place with excellent food and pubs. Excellent. Only go there to milk headphones. <laughs> I mean, there's a whole wealth of stuff. And I, I, I love kind of, I love the smaller towns in Germany. And I would love to see some of the, the countryside as well. Go on a hiking trip. When we went on our trip, um, we did a lot of hiking. What are your plans for the channel in 2021? So uh, that's kind of what this trip is about, is uh, resetting and planning. Um, but one of the things that I want to get to is more consistent of a schedule in terms of video content. Uh, we did uh, almost two weeks of daily videos, and I'd like to get back into that cadence. I'd love to get to a point where we have five videos a week, um, one podcast, one stream, and then three other types of content. Uh, we've had a lot more uh, interest in more streams, so I think going forward, going to do a lot more streams. We'll see what the right cadence is and how long. Uh, I try to keep the streams pr around an hour to two hours because I think there's a lot more digestible. Um, and usually like when I'm watching a stream, that's about the time that I'll dedicate to a stream. So keeping it more digestible and um, really planning out the content. Uh, so recording one week and being able to execute on that the next week and um, cover kind of the stuff that I want in, that I enjoy making. Uh, I really like to do some video essays on Star Wars video games, as well as covering um, n news isn't going to be the main focus of the channel. Um, I did three daily news podcasts on video games, uh, one for Nintendo, one for Xbox, and one for PlayStation. Got really burnt out on news. Um, so not necessarily news, but more like personality-driven content, um, as well as documentaries. I'd love to do some more documentaries. Kaub is a great place for hiking. It's one of the narrowest parts of the Rhine. Tiny village with a couple hundred castles, or a co couple hundred people, castles, etc. Oh, man. That's the dream. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm looking for in a German town. <laughs> so, yeah. As far as content, I want to get more content more consistently and of a higher quality. So 
my goal is probably like five videos, five videos a week is what I'd like to get to. That way I can have some rest time as well as uh, being able to dedicate the time to actual content rather than keeping on that daily grind and not being able to really fill on the type of bigger projects that I'd like to do. Um, with On the Battlefront and the 200th of the podcast, I love making documentaries and I'd love to do more documentary stuff. So maybe like once a month, it's like a bigger project and we have um, more consistent stuff. So gameplays will have um, my working my working schedule right now is a gameplay video for Star Wars. So maybe a Star Wars video game that's videoed and sent out as a series as well as um, a one like non Star Wars video game title so we can get some of the variety there as well as have some fun experiencing different types of things. Uh, currently I've been enjoying the medium. That's been such a fun game to play. Um, so not necessarily just Star Wars, but a focus on video games with uh, the core being that Star Wars experience in the Star Wars podcast. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I have a lot of big plans for 2021 and hoping, hoping it's a good year. It's been a good year so far. I'm really excited for the future. Uh, 2020, as far as the global stuff was kind of a, a crap show, but personally it was great. I, I had a great time, was able to um, fulfill some dreams, went to the UK uh, for the first time, uh, went freelance. So full-time freelance, was able to support myself, uh, huge, huge op opportunity there. I moved out, uh, got my own place and have my own studio. So 2020 was a really good year for me. Um, globally, not so much, um, but I'm excited. And it just shows uh, if you do have passion and you do have a uh, motivation, you can push through uh, adversity. And I think that has a lot of it because we almost got stuck in Ireland. <laughs> Would you rather watch the world's video game? Okay, world's worst. Let's see here. Let's see, would you rather watch the world's worst video game or the world's worst TV show? Probably video game, because uh, you have a little more control of it. You can make it your own experience, and you can kind of uh, revel in the uh, <laughs> the terribleness of it. I, I know there's a few games that, like, the gameplay is so bad, but I really enjoy playing uh, just because it's it's crazy. Like, Gmod was one of those things that, like, the game itself is pretty crappy, but, like, the experiences you can have and make out of it, um, you can have some fun. Even, even if it is a bad game, you can have some fun with it. Uh, make it your own, and you have a little more control over it rather than, like, a, a TV show where you are a viewer, a video game, you're participating in it and kind of making it your own experience. So you can tell your own story in that, terrible uh <laughs> a terrible uh structure but from definitely video game definitely video game for me so answer a couple more questions and then call it a day and uh gonna go out into the mountains see what the uh, hot springs are like and then next week we'll be back to the normal cadence um Probably going to play some Battlefront, and then Battlefront, and then the next week we'll do some Among Us. And maybe we'll start on the, uh, start on the extra streams, we'll see. I'd like to do one during the week too, because not everyone can make it on the Saturday or they have plans. Um, maybe do one in the evening on a, like a Tuesday or something like that, or a Monday. But, uh, I'm excited. It's super fun. Uh, there's been such a, a, when's the Xbox streams? Soon, I have to figure out um, a lot of the inner workings for that. I have an HD60S, um, and I'd like to play more on that too. I also got a PS5, so we can do some more stuff on there. So we can play, um, Will we ever get Miss Uplink on the podcast? I don't know. We'll see. She may appear on stream one day. I don't know. I'm trying to trying to convince her to get a gaming PC. Her uh, laptop, she's a very, very talented digital artist and does a uh, fan avatar comic, a graphic novel. Streams off Xbox. 
I've thought about it. Uh, I'd like to have a little more control on it, uh, but the goal is to have some Xbox streams, maybe alternate every now and then, or have a specific day of the week where we do the console streams where we switch between PlayStation and Xbox. But uh, her, her current laptop is old and uh, trying to convince her to build a gaming PC with me. So we shall see. Old and thick. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> She just, uh, from the background, says her laptop is old and thick. It's a, like, 2010 MacBook 15-inch. It's very big, very thick, very loud. <laughs> but, yeah, I think with that, we'll call it a stream. Next week, we'll be back to the normal cadence and playing some awesome Star Wars video games and get ready for some more content. Uh, next week's show is going to have a lot more details on the Cal Riz or not the Cal Rizzi Cup, the uh, Operation Ace uh, event happening soon. We got Boomstick on the podcast, and we're going to talk about the details on that in the world of Squadrons Esports, and uh, just get get into the weeds on that, and then back to the main series of how to play. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be good. Super pumped for the future, and I look forward to it all. Have a good rest of your day. Yes, Boomstick, the man, the myth, the legend. Such a talented dude. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Pod squad, pod is squadrons worth updating. Yes, I will. I, I think I'm going to do a little more of these and have more of a, a, a preparation for it instead of just phone and random hotel. But maybe that's maybe that's the, the theme here. But uh, have a good rest of your days, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Peace.